Hello guys, this video is a video where I'm not sure if I should do this or not, but there's been so much and I've done so much research to the point of where I thought, well, you know what, I'm going to give it a go. I may regret this, but I'm going to give it a go and this is going to be me starting the video today and I'm going to pick it back up a week later afterwards to give you so I can actually all in one video give you a full aspect and a full outlook as to what my results were over the sake of a week's worth of driving um so wish me luck guys and what I'm referring to is there comes a time whenever anyone's driving that you need some fuel I'm at that point where I need some fuel I've got about 10 liters in my tank of diesel and I've decided I'm going to put 20 liters of veg oil in and another 10 litres worth of diesel so basically a 50 50 mix because I, I do believe that this engine would run on pure veg oil on its own I'm not using waste oil because I haven't got the means or the time to clean it so for now just as a testing purposes I'm going to use some clean veg oil bought from my local cash and carry I've got a 20 litre drum and I'm going to put that in and another 10 litres worth of diesel. So it's going to be effectively a 50-50 mix. So um, without further ado, let's get started. Wish me luck, guys. And there's my fuel gauge at the moment, which I say there's about 10 litres worth of diesel in there. That is purely because my fuel needle doesn't really tell me the truth. I kind of work out how much fuel I've got based on my trip meter, which I'm yet to reset, but... Yeah, that'll go up to, that'll easily do another 100 miles with what, from a full tank. So um, there's at least 10 litres of diesel in there. And it's because I'm on a slope that always does that. If I slope the other way, it'll go higher. So that needle doesn't work properly. So ignore that and just trust me when I say there's about 10 litres worth of diesel. So like I said, I'm going to show you what I've got to put in. And then um, I'll put it in and I'm not going to show you me pouring it in because that's easy. Anyone can pour stuff into a petrol cap. But yeah. So this is what's going in, KTC vegetable cooking oil, completely unopened. We're gonna pour that in, that's 20 liters. And then we've got a uh, five liters worth of diesel here. There's another one in the boot of my car. I didn't bother pulling them both out to show you. Um, but there's two of these jerry cans with five liters of diesel in each. And like I said, 20 liters, about 10 liters in the car already. So I'm gonna use the funnel to pour it in. And I'm definitely not gonna record it because like I say, anyone can just anyone is able to put fuel in the car so it's pretty much self-explanatory so my mix of veg oil and diesel is now in 50 50 mix um let's just reset the trip meter so we know how many miles we're um doing on that so the big question is will she start um well i know there's diesel in the fuel line so i know for a fact she'll start but the question more more the better the bigger question is will she actually run i'm on the process of going to the parts store we'll just put the ignition on wait for the glow plug light to go out and then when that's ready starts up lovely no different to normal well i'm off for my journey to go get some parts i will pick the camera up again in a week's time with a lot more mileage on it and show you what the results tell you explain more about what the results were for my week it's worth of driving bye for now and just like that guys we've gone for a whole week's worth of running on a mixture of veg oil and diesel and i can certainly say near nearly 350 miles the car ran lovely the whole time um and even now a week later if i just let the glow plug light go out again because this is a cold start again and it's a little bit jittery when it's cold but it always has been like i said she runs absolutely lovely so for the outcome of what i found running on a mix of veg oil and diesel well it is a little bit harsher on the start than what just running diesel is and then ever so slightly little bit harder to start but not by much not something that i would particularly be worried about now on diesel obviously that's easier to start and um when it comes to actual driving though it doesn't seem to be any difference 
really other than there being like it seems to pick up a bit sooner and it also seems to be a little bit happier with the running whilst on the veg oil than it did on diesel which doesn't make sense because diesel's been refined for the job so well then so um my outcome and my look on it i will use veg oil I'm not quite there yet as far as being ready because I have just filled her up again just now. But i done the easy way. I went to the pump and filled her up with diesel because it's just easier to do that. You just stick the nozzle in the fuel tank, squirt away, and two seconds later it's full. Whereas with the veg oil, you've got to piss about with funnels and all sorts of stuff. And I would like to run it on waste veg oil anyway, so I'm actually benefiting from the savings because the engine is wasteful running on veg oil so the money you save by buying fresh veg oil doesn't really save you out of your pocket because it's not burning as efficiently if you get that so to make it efficient and make it worthwhile on my pocket i do really need to run it on waste but I, that means i've got to set up a filtration system which i do plan to do but i'm not in no major rush to do it and um, then when I've done that, I'll then think more about doing the, the switch. But for now, I'm going to stick with diesel. But not because there's anything bad about veg oil. It's just because it's easier to fill my tank with diesel at this precise moment. And there's no real savings aspect. So this may have been a bit of a boring video. It may have been a little bit informative. I hope I've done it some justice. But I just really wanted to more so see what i thought about running on veg oil basically so but anyway i'll put another one of my videos up in this corner and i'll put my subscribe icon down on here take care guys stay safe and bye for now